guys, what's up? It's Sean, Autotopia LA. Today, we've got a special one for you for multiple reasons. Number one, my pal Chris from Chrome Cars in Germany is here. Finally. I haven't seen you in over three years since Isn't the that world crazy? shut down on us. So just so you guys know, like obviously, what you're looking at is an Eleanor, and typically when people see Eleanor cars, they're seeing replicas, right? right? Good replicas, bad replicas, whatever it is. But this, as I understand, this is one of the three hero cars from the Gone in 60 Seconds, not the 1974 no, Gone no, no, in 60 of course Seconds, nope, but from nope. the one we all actually yeah. know. No, I mean, it's the most iconic Mustang on the planet, possibly the most iconic car on the planet, certainly yeah. the most replicated car on the yep. planet. Yep. No, no question about yeah. that. Tell me if I'm right or wrong on this, Chris. I isn't this the one where a lot of the close-up shots of Nicolas Cage were in this car? That's absolutely correct. I mean, yeah. this uh, is with all the hero cars, right? Yeah. So there are three of them. Right. They built 11 cars in total, so 11 Eleanors. Yep. Eight of them were stunt cars, pretty much empty shells or just an en engine. Right. But three hero cars. That's quite unusual, actually, because it is. nowadays they only built one hero car and the rest is for yep. waste. Yep. So these hero cars has been used for mainly the beauty shots, up close shots, right. uh, interior shots, right. that stuff. That's exactly, that's what it is. Now I know one of them sold a few years ago. Um, 13, I guess it was. Was it that Two, far yeah, back? Yeah. Okay. That car sold for one, $1.3 million. Plus so, premium, yes. Plus the premium, yeah. right? Yeah. I mean, this car's gotta be up in, in a, like we were talking about last night at dinner, it's gotta be up in about a $2 million range. In a two range, yes. Range. Yeah. So here's one of the things I love so much about this, it, it, and this goes with any car that has pedigree to it, right? Is, mm -hmm. is you could park this next to a replica and they're both gonna look pretty, you know what I mean? They're gonna, there's gonna be differences, but you yeah. know what I mean? To yeah. an untrained yeah. eye, you're gonna look and go, oh look, two of the same car. Exactly. But then you go, yeah, but this is the one Nicolas Cage sat in and you saw on screen and gone in 60 seconds. And all of a sudden you go, wow, now it's special. For any of you that don't know like general overall details, yeah. let's do a couple of the detail things, engine suspension, exhaust, transmission, rear end, stuff like that, right? Yeah. And then let's talk about a lot of the other elements that come with this car, especially some of the crazy controversy. Yeah, there is a lot of Because of the license, on. the trademark yep. that gets infringed upon regularly. Yep. Let's have fun yeah. first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's, we don't want to piss you off no, just no, yet, no, you of guys. Course <laughs> of, course, of course not. All of the cars carry different kind of engines, right? Yeah. So, but this is a, a 351 Windsor, right. pretty modern crate engine, nothing fancy, runs good, drives perfectly. It mm -hmm. has enough power. I don't know how much exactly, but yeah. it's enough. If it's a 351 stroke to the 427, you're give or take at about 400 horsepower. Uh, yeah, I would say e yeah, even a little less, uh -huh. but it's a good range, yeah. So it has all the fancy 90s, I would say, uh, custom stuff like total control products, uh, yeah. su uh, suspension stuff, Wilwood brakes, uh, uh, rack and pinion, Mustang 2, um, Ford 9 inch rear axle and basics. There's a specific story to the Bola exhaust Too because curious. when you show the details like the, the exhaust tips, yeah. uh, people will immediately recognize they don't look the same like in the movie for a reason. Got because it. they weren't functional in the movie. That's what I thought. Even with the uh, with the hero cars. Right. Don't don't start with me. Don't no don't do, no no start. But these three hero cars, after the filming was done, they had to be sold to public, and that's where they, where they just went into a box and oh this should fit. Put it down here. This was uh, by accident a Bola uh, exhaust pot. Yeah. And so this one has, I know in the trunk, it's got the nitrous bottle, but it's not actually not hooked, hooked up, up like none of them But it ever used work. to work. Did it really? It used to work, yeah. Yep. I didn't know they were ever even functional on these. I don't know on how many cars, but on this one it was. I mean, you don't need that, right? No, no. no. We're not Nick Cage in this. We're not getting sideways. We're not hitting ramps and jumping nope, it. Nope, 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 nope. <laughs> We're not going to do that. I think I deserve a little appreciation. All right, so that's some of the general details of the car, you guys. It's also, of course, got the Go Baby Go button there of on course. the shifter. You got to have that, you know? Yeah. I don't know, dude. I remember seeing the movie at the movie theater. You know, I'm old enough to have done that. And Me too, by the way. Okay. Yeah. And, and it was such an impactful movie because, oh, yeah. I mean, 
it was all fun and Angelina Jolie's beautiful mm. and y you know, it's, there's so many great elements to it. The story, the brothers. I just stole 50 cars for you in one night. But I mean, this is the star of the movie. It just is. The first, that first time you see Eleanor, you just go, that's the coolest GT500 ever. There she is. Yep. There's Eleanor. I think to me, it's that time I thought it was just the best car movie. For me, it was. I the, the spirit, the mood, even Nick Cage did well. And, and then there was the car. I'm with you. Yeah. Some of the best car chase yeah. stuff we've yeah. ever seen. I mean, the stunts are incredible. Yeah. So one of the things I think would be fun to touch on is the there's there's the controversy around this car, right? Yeah. There's I don't know if you guys are familiar with the channel B for Build, huge YouTube channel. Yeah. I've never met the guy, but I've heard he's a super nice, very humble guy. The trademark infringement is you can actually build a replica of this mm -hmm. so long as you're not doing anything with that car that's ever going to be done for profit. So you can build the car, you can drive the car, you right. can call it Eleanor. Right. If you're not making any money on it in any way whatsoever. B for build, he was getting Google ad revenues on his YouTube channel. Okay. And here's the crazy thing to me is you can actually even do that. You can build the car for profit. You just have to pay the license fee. Just pay for it. Exactly. Right? It's it's that's why it's there. It's to protect the 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 owner of that trade. We can discuss the the amount. I know it's twenty five thousand dollars. I know right? exactly. If this car wasn't so iconic it wouldn't be a big deal, but because it is, and Haliki was smart enough to yeah. go, hey, people are gonna maybe wanna do something yeah. with this car. I know I'm gonna hear comments from you guys. I know it pisses a lot of people off, but I'm sorry, it's business. It's just it's business, business, you know? It's like, yeah. you, you wanna build this car? Pay the lady your 25 grand and replicate them all day long. So the other thing I think is fun to talk about this, that I, I don't know if a lot of people know this, but you know, Steve St Sanford is the one yep. that did the initial sketches yep. of it. If you guys don't know who Steve Sanford is, go look him up. Like Steve, I know, works directly with Steve Strope on a lot of his builds. Oh, still? I don't know if they still do, but they've definitely they, done okay. a lot of work together. But I don't know if a lot of people know that that guy, what's his name again? Oh yeah, Chip Foose. Chip Foose. That he had his hands in the design of this yep. car as well. Exactly. We've been to Foo's place two days ago with this car, but he was expecting, of course, a replica. And when we opened up the, the trailer, he was like, oh damn, that's a real one. Yeah. And yeah. That, that's, this was priceless. So next week is the big SEMA show. You right. guys are in town. You brought this in in partnership with SeaTac. Yes. But you guys have been having fun with this car. Like you've been to SEMA Garage, you've been to Chip yep. Foose's place, you went to yep. the Marconi Museum, spent time with him. Rod Emery's. Rod Emery. And then we close What's that him. guy's name again? He used to be a stand-up comedian. Jay Leno. That's oh, yeah, the guy. yeah, that, that guy. Yeah. yeah, yeah, you went over to Leno's place. Yeah, that's your neighbor right now. <laughs> he is right down the street <laughs> yeah, here. Yeah, we've been there too. But you you guys have been busy with this car, and I got to imagine even somebody like Jay that, I mean, he's he's seen everything. He's got to get a little excited about seeing the car from the movie. We've been at his place a little earlier than, than uh, Jay. And then he, we unloaded the car and, and stuff, and he showed up in a beautiful Hudson Hornet, right? And he was like, oh, hey guys, how you doing? Yeah, yeah. Roll down the windows and, oh, this gotta be a real one. He has that view of, mm -hmm. for details and, yeah, and stuff. Yeah. There is something about that car. The, I don't know what it is, but it's, it looks more like a real car. So, yeah. and then we had a nice chat, of course. Yeah. So a couple things for you guys. Um, the car doesn't have license plates on it, so we're gonna do a, a small amount of driving like out of my playground out back. Um, the other thing is, you know, there's gonna be, some of you guys are gonna go, why didn't they pop the hood and show us details? Why aren't they showing us underside shots? But it's a request of the owner of Chrome Cars, our friend Kai, that there's certain details he doesn't want to show because he doesn't want, he doesn't want people doing an identical replica and Look, you can get pissed and upset about it, but Kai's a good friend of ours, and he's made a request. We're gonna honor his request, which is, you know, we're, we're just not gonna show you guys certain details on this car. But I hope you guys appreciate what we're showing you, the idea, again, that I know we've said it so many times, but it's, this is the one you guys saw in the movie. And there's really nothing special to see, so. Yeah, Don't yeah. be disappointed. Yeah, 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 no <laughs> hidden secrets. All right, so we're gonna go do a little bit of driving, you guys, and stay with us here, man.
All right, you guys, so we're gonna do like just some mild driving simply because this car has no license plate on it. It's also, uh, even though it is an Eleanor and we've seen a lot of Eleanors, this is a $2 million Eleanor. So yeah. we're gonna just cruise it down the road a little bit. And I think a lot of you guys might not understand this, but picture cars aren't built so you can go drive them thousands and thousands of miles. No. Picture cars are built to get your shot and that's it. Do you guys have this registered so you're allowed to drive it in Germany? No, we don't. I didn't think no, so. No. So no. we drive it, but um, no, it's not registered. I tell you this much though, there's no doubt, there's a ton of brakes on here. There is, the brakes were good. I mean, the brakes are exceptional. Yeah. So it's still, this car still feels like an old car. It is an old Mustang, yeah. Yeah, it, it, and it feels like it. But God dang, it drives great. There's Jay. That's him, yeah, there's it, He's just the best, isn't he? Yeah. Is, Don't yeah. you just love hey, the, the, when you get the little bit of time with him, it's so fun. Yeah. That, my friends, is an experience. To drive, be around anything that has pedigree and provenance to it is just a real experience. You know, the idea that this is the Eleanor car that we saw on screen in Gone in 60 Seconds. It, it, blows my mind so to casually roll it up and down the streets here in LA just awesome hope you guys enjoyed this one man you gotta love Eleanor and my friends from SeaTac and Chrome Cars thank you guys so much and I will see you all in the next episode all right man later